Time's up. Let's do this. Yep, exactly. And like, you know, this is so far 2-0. A lot of legends dropping 0 and 3 in this tournament. And wow. <laughs> oh wow, it's really <laughs> crazy. So will Shiny Pants be able to do a reverse all kill with one class? That's the question here. He does have Druid left in this entire um, submission of his and this is by the way his first game of the day. He is the top player in Southeast Asia, rank 4 NA. That's no that's that's really a huge accomplishment, but can he survive this tournament right now? It's looking really bad for him. Oh and two, yep. and we're going to the next game. Yes, very exciting. So a lot of upsets. The best Philippine player, Waning Moon, has dropped out of the tournament. And we are down to actually one player for our country. And now Shiny Pants on the verge of losing on 0-3. Uh, but let's see if, you know, you don't get to number 4 for no reason. You, you have a lot of uh, experience with the meta. You have a lot of experience with a lot of decks to be able to hit that kind of level on the ladder. So, you know, don't count him out. We still have three games left. He's playing a very stable class in the Druid. So let's see what type of, um, what's what's the hand of Shiny Pants looking right now? What what kind of Druid is he running for, for this type um, game? Okay, this, well, he does have Savage Roar, uh, the Ruby okay. Web Lord. So effectively, the Web Lord's gonna buy him some space. Seeing mm -hmm. how, you know, the, the Earth Elemental, sorry, the, uh, what the, the Fire Elemental is Bell Cry, and some of the other cuts as well. But, of course, it, he doesn't really, I, I mean, this, okay, for sure, token druid deck. Violet teacher just came out. There okay. is no doubt about it. <laughs> Hello, token druid. <laughs> it was like I was like confused. Uh, power of the wall. Yeah, that could still be anything. Then when you see the violet teacher, yeah, that's for sure. It is a token druid deck. And now there is also a violet teacher for where Nico. So it could also be a token shaman deck. Yep. Battle of the token. Who's gonna win it? Yeah, so Shaman very good in this meta right now. As we know, he has a lot of removals, some of the most efficient removals in the game, Earth, Shock, Hex, and mid-range Shaman doing very well as we saw versus Zoo. So it might still be good. I mean, I mean, in my experience, Shaman is very good against Druid and in all of its variants because there's just so many removals, so much value out of something like a Lava Burst, out of something like a Lightning Storm with a Spell Totem. So it is, Shaman is a really nice deck especially in a tournament scenario where you're going to be facing a lot of different type of types of decks and having a lot of value removals in the form of a shaman mid-range deck as well as having a lot of finishers you still have um as we can see in where neko's hand you have a you have something like an alak here that can take rock biter that can take flame tongue totem into a lot of values with its divine shield so many many options so i really like where neko uh, running shaman at the moment because it's really really strong in the current meta yeah, and well, there is um, the the funny thing here is that the Nerubian Web Lord is not able to have an impact over where Nico because his card just doesn't have Battle Cry. That's right, that's right. So N Nerubian Web Lord, I mean, it's still a one four. It's still quite annoying in the early game, but. Very Neko's hand is pretty strong right now. He does have an option to play into Feral Spirit. He does have the option to play into Flame Tongue Totem. He can even play as Violet Teacher right now if he wants. Yep. Meanwhile, a bit of a short update here. Lightbringer winning Raedric over in a quarterfinals. He's going into the semifinals to face no! off the. Uh, <laughs> oh, sorry. No. <laughs> okay, so that's out. the end of the that's the end of the Philippines run in this tournament. Uh, but good job, guys. Thanks for playing. <laughs> <laughs> Guess no bacon for the Filipinos today. But. No bacon for us today. We're back to our... Yeah, but Vietnamese, place. man, they're looking very good so far. Kure and I also going to the semifinals, so we're going to at least assure that one of the Vietnamese will be in the top four. Actually, yep, they are yep. already in the top four. Two of them are in the top four. What am I saying? <laughs> so we have a potential... Right now in round three, we have uh, Malaysians waiting. We have... Um, a pot well, okay, Kurenai has already won the... So we also have a potential for ADYB versus Boin, Boin Hachung. Okay, so anyway, back to this game. <laughs> we are now wearing Neko with a full board control with his totems and with his Argent Squire and Shiny Pants with his Druid of the Claw. No, I'm not, not really in a position to start running off of his into his tokens right now. How is his hand looking at the moment? He does have two Violet Teachers, which is going to provide a lot of tempo if he has the space to run them. Uh, he does top deck another swap as well with the Wrath, so that's good. He can. He is having a bit of a trouble killing the Flame Town, but with Hero Power should be okay. At least that's going to provide substantial um, answer right now. There's not enough stuff on the board for Shiny Pants, and I think he knows that as well. Next turn, it would definitely be a Druid of the Claw. Um, mm -hmm. For Werenica on the flip side, I think that, yeah, Doom Hammer for sure. He's going to kill the 2 4. And although it's only 2 1 1s on the field, but that. 
if he is really running a um, token shaman deck, we're looking at Bloodlust. And if he runs Bloodlust, wow. wow. Those are still going to deal a lot of damage. Definitely. So don't count out that mana totem. Uh, despite being silenced in 0-2 at the moment, don't count him out. He still has a potential to be a, a token into the Bloodlust for later on. So... Let's see what where what okay so where Neko chooses to you know hold on to his hand and let's see what shiny pants uh, how's his hand looking at the moment what are his plays for the next few turns yeah he definitely plays the um, drift of the claw here and there is no hex nothing they could really do flame tongue totem again it's gonna be quite a dangerous play here for shiny pants uh, he's definitely gonna oh, go boy. down there yeah that's gonna die and he's also gonna deal two damage so that's so much value there next turn i'm expecting it to be a violet teacher into a uh, mark of the wild seeing how it's only turn six here um he can also yeah but the thing is it doesn't really have a, a pretty good tempo hand here it's like every single thing he's tr he's throwing out there gets answered by where yes. and that's a big problem for shiny pants you don't want to be in that spot because you want to just constantly um, set up the tempo for your site, but that's not happening. So he top decks a rough, which is why you're seeing it right now. And mm -hmm. he's gonna rough the 0 3 just to make sure he dies. Pretty good play there. It's yeah. like, okay, that's a good answer, but what is Wereniko up to right now? Wereniko has, as you said, he has a lot of removals. Um, he's been answering Shiny Pants play every single turn, and he still has a lot of stuff in, in play in his hand. He, w he still has a chance to play his Feral Druid, I mean, his Feral Spirits. He's gonna choose to play. Um, Lava Burst against the Violet Teacher, wanting, wanting to get that option out of Shiny Pants hand right out uh, right off the bat. He's gonna go for a swing against Shiny Pants, choosing to save his Rock Biter, and he's gonna end his turn with two charges left in Doomhammer and a decent amount of minions on the board. So next turn, he can go into some big swings with his with his Doomhammer, especially with Rock Biter being saved for the next for the last two charges. Yeah, so. I believe that we are also looking at Swipe here. But Swipe is just not enough. He doesn't have the extra spell damage that he can take. That's pretty That's interesting. Right. They can actually play the... Um, yeah, he can actually play Ancient of Lore, I think. But that's a little bit risky. The thing is that he does have a lot of spells that can combo really nicely with Violet Teacher or anything on the board. But the problem is he doesn't have anything at all on the board. So that's yeah. the problem here. So that's the bane of pretty much um, any token druid. The, the the idea is you want to have a lot of minions on the board, something like Argent Squires or Harvest Golems, and starting to use your spells at the time when your your Violet Teacher is on board. But at the moment, with no creatures on the board, there's nothing to combo into. There's nothing. There's no value to gain out of something like a Savage Roar. So Shiny Pants is in a bit of trouble, especially with um, the amount of defense and the potential finisher in the form of Alakir and the Rock Biter weapon in the hands of Warren Echo. Yeah, well, we are looking at a few possibilities here. He can still kill the 5-5 five five with the Rock Biter. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's that's why I say it's risky. He did, he, the thing about Shiny Pants is that he's not able to put up any form of tempo on the on the board at all. It's completely right. dominated by Wernico. It's like, yeah, Wernico is just playing answers after answers. And the moment he plays something, he always has got a Violet Teacher giving him extra yeah. value with the 1-1s coming out. Yep. Oh, but this is going to be a waste here. My oh, god. Boy. So he told them and he he forgot that the Violet Teacher spawned something and he wastes the Pharaoh Spirit just like that. Oh, man. Well, it might not even matter. He has a full board, but with a swipe in the hand of Shiny Pants, that might open up the way for a potential comeback. Let's see, but we, it has to be said that Wernicke still has Alakir in his hand and he will have the ability to... Oh no, he won't have the ability he will to not. play it next turn. Yeah, so he's still locked yeah. out of out of his mana. He's gonna be seven his, mana still. So his mana is still in the mortgage. Yeah, <laughs> still has some debts to pay. <laughs> so what, what he him. can <laughs> exactly what he can do here for shiny pants? Sorry, is to heal up again. But you know, if you just heal up, it's really just buying time for something that's probably not gonna do it. So it's actually gonna swipe here. And swiping here is gonna kill all the value apprentice there. And well at least the O ones don't die, but the three one will still be alive here. And the rock biter as well. Hmm. So no no Elocare, but we can tell for sure the next turn it is gonna be game. If you play Feral Spirit here, I'm just gonna be so angry. Because he can win this game the next turn with Elocare, Rock Biter. He doesn't need the Feral Spirit to survive. 
He just That's needs right. to make sure that you know the opponent doesn't have any taunt. First page, no, you just really... use lightning storm. Please just use lightning storm and lightning then try storm. and get rid of the three five. Oh no. no! No, but lightning storm also gives him uh, overload. So again, oh, okay, this mana is gonna be locked up in right. mortgage. So he could have won this game in the next turn, but because he decides to go for Ferris Spirit and he's just obsessed with having as much minions on the board as possible, <laughs> um, he will not have that. So Force of Nature is going to come out here and that's still going to wipe out the board. If only he didn't use that. Look at that. I mean, Shiny Pets doesn't even have, um, you know, doesn't even have a taunt. Yeah, His only bane pants. would be if Shiny Pants heals up. But that's 12 and you just need, you know, you just need maybe a weapon there to end the game. We'll see. Yep. So it looks like Shiny Pants will have the ability to clear where Neko's entire board, but that's still Alec here next turn. So let's see. Oh, Shiny Pants might get this game here. He is looking pretty good because now he's set up bot synergy, and we're looking where Neko using the Lightning Storm the next turn. So at least he's gonna kill the one ones. Oh, if he plays Alec here, here, it is still game. Because the one one didn't die. That's because Shiny Pants was too greedy and greed kills. He's gonna oh, lose the tournament. No. If that only he ran the Violet Teacher into the one one. Yeah, my God, it's so close. Just but clear his board. Oh no. Well, where Neko gonna take it zero three over the number four ranked NA player Shiny Pants. What an upset. Oh man, today is full of upsets, Babel. Uh, more for you, less for me, but... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I also have an update coming in here, and it's uh, the fact that ADYB does win over Boy Haktong there, and that's um, a 3-0 victory, so ADYB has been 3-0-ing everybody this afternoon. And oh he's gonna gosh. have to play against Kurenai, a Vietnamese I can't believe player. we're actually in the semifinals only two yeah, hours into the tournament, so... These guys play fast. I mean, these, yeah. I mean, if I guess you're used to it if you're playing ranked, playing hundreds of games trying to get to uh, legend level, and they're used to just churning out these games fast. But you know, we're not we're not deprived of some high level play. We're I mean, mistakes are bound to happen in a tournament scenario. That the, the pressure is different from from ladder and ranked. But man, we're still we're seeing the best of the best of well, basically last week's meta. But we're seeing we we we, we just saw a lot of the Nerubian eggs. We saw Nerub our weblord. We even saw the I keep forgetting its name, the Haunted Creeper. There you go. So seeing a lot of the action of the value early game minions that Arachnid Quarter gave us in this meta for for this tournament. Yep. So we are gonna cover the next game between ADYB and Kure and I. They're gonna start in just about 10 minutes and effectively we are able to cover both semi-finals and the final because of the small little delay that we had in the early. Also the fact that we have just caught up here because of the clean 3-0 victory by Wernico. So right now still in the competition is Wernico from Singapore and uh, I am Biscuit from Malaysia. They're, they are gonna play in the uh, third round and we have Lightbringer waiting for them in the semi-finals. We also have Kurenai versus ADYB in the second semi-finals, which, which we are gonna cast in just about 10 minutes. So, any thoughts about the previous game there? Very fast. <laughs> this, this current meta seems to, to favor a lot of fast games. So we saw there that um, we're seeing basically what everybody understands the meta to be. We see Miracle Rogues, we see Token Druids, we see a lot of Zoo, definitely. But the surprise today, from what we've seen, what we've casted so far, there are a lot of Shamans re uh, wrecking house and basically, you know, proving that they are the masters of the mid range with a lot of removals, a lot of efficient stuff, and able also to deal with the early or the early minions that have been added from because of Nexramas. So Shaman, you know, being a big surprise for today, causing a lot of upsets, and we are seeing a lot of nice Shaman plays. So Team Shaman, pretty happy today, I suppose. Yeah, pretty good stuff. Shaman is just pretty good. Um, token decks are making a comeback. Um, but of course, it's not legit because Lothap is now out. So yeah, <laughs> once you play Violet Teacher, Lothap's gonna come out and you'll be like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yep, so uh, we are gonna go for a short break. We'll start the next series at about 3 p.m. That's about 9 minutes away. Uh, do know the stream has got about a 10 minutes delay there about. So you guys will see the feed at about 3.10. And hope you guys enjoy this cast. This is Babel, join me today's good tips. And we'll see you guys in a while.